Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about our last machine, which is going to be the bakery. And this is also the last video of my machine series that I started back in February. And so I just want to say thank you to all of you guys for really supporting these kind of videos. I never thought to get such a good response. So thanks a lot. And I'm just going to start the game. So let's see what's going on. All right. So we're having the first even for the vouchers week, which is spin the wheel. Not my favorite though, but there are a lot of good things. So I'm just going to try my luck. We also have the um, Tom Booster here, so let's see what we get. I'm hoping to get something good. Um, I don't want to get soybeans. That would be not cool. So, let's see what do we get. Mm, I think it's going to be the star. Nope. That's insane. I just missed such good stuff, and I just got a sushi roll, which I don't really need. So, I think it's Monday, and we're having a lot of weekly deals. Just gonna collect my cheese from my neighbors. So, thank you, Rishi, for giving me the cheese. And Maggie's here, and um, unfortunately you cannot do any for a design. Let me see. I think again. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one, you guys. I can do this. It's the country red. It's gonna cost me 30 blue vouchers. So I'm just gonna do that anyway because I'm trying to complete my Maggie's book. So it's not a problem for me. All right, there we go. It just looks so pretty. Yes, it does. Ooh, we're having a package. Let's see what's inside. So there we go. 10 diamonds. Awesome. I'm glad that I played the event and I got 10 diamonds. So I'm gonna harvest the crops that I've got here. I've got a lot of, lot of, lot of tea leaves, which are a good way to get XP and also a good way to make coins. So let's just harvest all of that. I just got a land aid from here. All right, so let's see what am I short of. I'm probably going to go with... I don't know why I have so low soybeans. That's insane. And I'm going to be planning... Let's go with some carrots. And I'm going to go with sugar cans. So let's have a look at the boat. Mm, that's kind of a tough boat. Should I do this or should I not? I'm not sure, you guys. The honey apple cake but I do have them. The pancakes, I probably won't be able to find the paper, so I'm just gonna skip this. I don't care. All right, the next boat seems easy. I'll be able to do that. All right, guys, coming to the main topic of this video, the bakery. So let's just have a close look at the design of this machine. So the design of this machine looks like a large ginger oven with a few sacks of flour beside it. And then you guys can see there's a wooden spatula. There's also a barrel of flour on the right side. There's a wooden table and there's probably a little chimney on the top. So the design of this machine looks very similar to the actual um, pie oven and the cake oven in the game. They also have the, the floor tiles and they also have the kind of chimneys. So yeah, it's a good design, but definitely it's not my favorite. The mastery of this machine is also different, 35 hours for the first star, 140 hours for the second star, and 560 hours to fully master your bakery. So here's my bakery which is fully mastered and you guys can see there is a star at the top and the color of the bottom portion has changed to kind of dark orange red, I don't know. So I have made some bread which I'm going to collect, one bread gives you 3 XP. Now, you guys can see it's fully mastered and I have all the slots open and I do recommend opening all the slots as soon as you can because this machine is a good way to make coins. You're also going to need a lot of the products literally everywhere in the game. Now, this is the very first machine that a person unlocks in the game. So, I think literally everybody in this world has this machine who plays Hayde because it's only level 2. Um, so, this machine basically unlocks at level 2. It's going to cost you only 20 coins and this is just going to take... 10 seconds to be built so it's not that of a challenge it's really simple and again i think everybody has this machine who plays Haiti. i don't think there's any person who doesn't have this machine unless he hasn't leveled up to two yet but i don't think there's any person who's not leveled up to two maybe i don't know so we're just gonna get started by the products now the first basic thing that you need to know it's bakery so there are a lot of things you're going to need is wheat and eggs. Eggs are very important for the bakery. Make sure you have a lot of eggs. Um, you're going to need wheat. 
The, the, the thing that I like about this machine is that it is not confined to only one kind of product. This machine makes a variety of products ranging from different kind of breads to muffins to pizza. So it's a good thing. And you're going to need a lot of random things. You're going to need cheese, um, some fruits, wheat, eggs. So basically, wheat and eggs are the basic for this machine. So I'm going to get started by all the products. The first product unlocks at level 2. Probably the first product of the game. I don't know. So it's just going to need three wheat, going to get ready in five minutes or four minutes on a fully mastered machine. Very simple to make and a very good way to make coins. The second unlocks at level seven, the cornbread going to take um, 25 minutes or 30 minutes on a non fully mastered machine. And I currently have 35 and I do tend to keep a lot of the bread and the cornbread because these products are used almost everywhere in the game. For example, the breads you're going to need in your um, sandwich bar here you guys can see almost all the toasts are gonna need a lot of bread and then th there's an onion soup in the game that also needs a lot of bread for example let me show you guys um, the onion soup requires two breads and the cornbread you're gonna need um, in your taco kitchen so this is also very important so these two products I would say at least keep um, 30 to 40 if you're a high level player but if you're a low level player you probably don't have a lot of the uses so you can just sell them to bring coins it's a very good way to make coins now, unfortunately, I don't have any eggs, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to pray for my luck. Or, let me just go to the paper. I might I might find some. I don't know. Let's see what we have in the paper. So, nope, my bad luck. There are no eggs. I don't know what I'm going to get. So, I think you guys just have to wait till I get my eggs. Alright, guys. So, I'm just... Oh, that's a lot of good stuff. Yay, that's such a good stuff. I'm going to get all of that. I'm really going to get all the things. There we go, and I'm just gonna help this person with the boat. Ew, I cannot do that. That's pizza. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. So you guys saw you're getting two pizzas in one crate, which is cool. So we're gonna get, come back to my farm, and I'm gonna start talking about the next product. So yeah, I was talking about the cornbread, and I'm just gonna put one. It's gonna need two corn and two eggs. Very simple to make if you have enough eggs. The next product is the cookie, which could be a little bit challenging if you don't have the brown sugar. So the brown sugar is the only main thing. It's gonna take one hour or 51 minutes on a fully mastered machine. It's a good way to fully master your machine. Now this machine will probably take a little bit of time to fully master it, to get fully mastered, but. I don't think it'll be challenging as any other machine. I think this will be easy because you can make a lot of cornbread. This will be simple. Um, and then you can make muffins. They're also really simple to make. So I'm going to put one. Now the cookies ask in crazy amounts in the boat. Um, just like four cookies in one crate. That means a total of 16 cookies. And I think that's insane. I don't know why there's so many people in Haiti needs cookies. Even if you go to the town, people need like five even five cookies just one person and that's insane i don't know why does it happen so i tend to keep about 10 of every other product of this machine except the bread and the cornbread which i take in a lot of amounts because they're more important so the muffin a raspberry muffin gonna unlock at level 19 gonna take 45 minutes or 38 minutes on a fully mastered machine you're gonna need two raspberries one egg and two wheat i'm just gonna put one very simple ingredients you're just gonna need two raspberries and this is also a good way to make coins the next is also similar the blackberry muffin unlocks at level 26 the same time as the raspberry muffin but you're gonna need here two eggs not one two blackberries and one wheat Again, it's very simple to make, and unfortunately, I have only one. I don't know why, but this is also a good way to make coins. All right, now we're going to come to the pizzas. The pizzas unlock at level 33. You're going to need two wheat, one tomato, one cheese. It's kind of hard to make because you're going to need tomatoes, which are, again, a rare crop, and the, and the cheese is also not easy to get, so this could be a little bit challenging. It's just going to take 15 minutes, not a lot of time, or 12 minutes in a fully mastered machine. Spicy Pizza Unlocks at level 37, gonna take 15 minutes, again, or 12 minutes. So it's gonna need just chili paper in addition to the previous ingredients. The next is the Potato Bread, level 39. You're gonna need crazy amount of eggs, three eggs, one white sugar, one butter, and two potatoes. So you guys have seen you need, actually you need a variety of ingredients to make different items here. So I'm not gonna make this because I think I have enough. The next is the Fruity Tamara Pizza. Um, you're gonna need a lot of rare ingredients, one lobster teal, one fish, one cheese, and two wheat. This could be very hard to make. I do not recommend selling this. I recommend try to save this. It's actually a good way to make coins. People will buy this and you won't be able to find this in the paper as well. So I'm just gonna put one. The final product is the high level product, Banana Bread Unlocks at level 91. Gonna take 30 minutes or 25 minutes on a fully mastered machine. You're gonna need three bananas, two grapes, 
three wheat and one egg and it's my favorite product from the bakery in the game so it's very simple to make it's not that hard the bananas you can get from your trees the grapes are also simple to get so what are we going to do now we're going to collect our coins and i'm going to start talking about the prices of the product so we have the um cornbread which is 10 for 720 coins and one for 72 coins it's your choice if you want to sell this you can people will buy this quickly but if you don't then that's okay i mean i'm not saying that you should not sell this you can but i try to save this but i'm just selling to show you guys the next is let's see what do we have in our barn all right so we have bread now bread could be a good way to make coins because it only needs three weeks and it gets ready really quick so i think it's a good way to make coins uh just make sure you keep making a lot of them and yeah the breads also get asked in crazy amounts i think 19 to 20 per crate which means a total of 60 to 80 breads which is insane i know but the thing is they get ready very quickly so most of the times when i have bread in my boat i pre prepare a lot or i can just ask for help on the bread it's not that hard if you just keep making all the time it's gonna like the nine breads are gonna get ready in i think 36 minutes so that will be simple so that's why i say make sure you have a lot of slots in your machine but it's a good way to make coins as well so let's see what other product do we have all right so we have the raspberry muffin one for 140 coins 10 for probably over thousand and 400 coins it's a good way to make coins you can sell this people will buy that eventually and then we have the next product let's see all right so i have the banana bread which is one for four 24 coins it's pretty expensive but the thing is it's a high level product so at that level you might already have a lot of coins but this is a good way to make coins i do sell these and i recommend selling this as well all right let's see what other product that we have so yeah i have the blackberry muffin which is one for 226 coins this is actually expensive than the raspberry muffin still it's a very good way to make coins as well let me see what other products do i have left so i still need to talk about a lot of pizzas let's just go down and see all right so i think i'm probably gonna start from here all right so one spicy pizza for 226 coins 10 for over 2,000 coins, a good way to make coins, but make sure you sell a minimum quantity of them because they're rare and they're going to be a little bit difficult to make. Actually, I do not recommend selling any of the pizzas. Try to save them. And one Fruity Di Mare pizza for 403 coins, 10 for over 4,000. It's pretty expensive. Um, but nope, I do not recommend selling this. I recommend try to save this. So now we have the potato bread, one for 284 coins, 10 for almost 2,800 coins. It's a good way to make coins, but I recommend saving this product, not selling this product. And let's go down and see what is the next product that we have. All right, so we have the simple pizza, one for 190 coins. Not that expensive, and again, I do not recommend selling this. I recommend trying to save this. And I think the only product that is left are the cookies. Yeah, I have nine. So cookies are actually a good way to make coins. I never sell them because they're asked in crazy amounts in my town, in my boats. Actually, as I always say, if you're a low-level player, you can sell that item. But if you're a high-level player, you should try to save that. So if I come over, all right, so like here you can see one cookie for 104 coins, 10 for almost over 1,000. It's not expensive at all. So probably it's not a good way to make coins considering the fact that it takes an hour and you're also gonna need the brown sugar to make this. So no, I do not recommend selling this. The only product that I recommend selling are cornbread, the bread, the muffins, and probably the, uh, the banana bread. Pizzas do not sell them and potato bread also do not sell them. So that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and this, is, this was the last of my machines' videos. So it's ending, unfortunately. But I'm so glad that you guys really enjoyed this series, and in the future, I might do more. Who knows? So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.